Hello gamers and welcome back to another Hapixel Skyblock video. Last time I tried taking down the tier 3 Enderman Slayer boss, but even after grinding all the way to Enderman Slayer level 4 by killing tier 2s and getting the final destination armor, I stood no chance against it. So I reached the conclusion that I'm simply not ready for it. And today, I'm fixing that. I'll be addressing three issues. The first one is that I simply did not do enough damage. For that, I need to get my hands on the best helmet in the game the Warden Helmet. And I'll also need to fix the enchants and reforges on my gear. Second of all, my healing situation. My Plasma Flux and Zombie Sword are decent, but I can get one more item to help me heal even faster. And finally, my defense. Instead of trying to become the tank myself, I can just get actual tanks to take the hits for me. So I need to get my hands on a Necromancy item. In my last video, I challenged myself by not getting anything from the Auction House or the Bazaar. But I quickly realized that not using the Bazaar was going to be nearly impossible. And and so, I had to compromise. Well, today I'm making actual rules for myself. I can use the bazaar however I want, but when it comes to the auction house, I can't buy armor, weapons, or tools. Until I defeat the tier 4 enderman boss. So, stuff like reforged stones, accessories, and enchants are allowed. I really want to try this on a brand new profile from scratch. So, if you gamers want to see that, then if this video gets 3000 likes in the first 3 days, I'll do it. I mentioned that I'm allowed to buy stuff from the auction house, but the warden helmet is technically armor, so I can't actually buy it. It's not like I can afford it anyways. It's 328 million coins. So how exactly am I gonna get one of the most expensive armor pieces in the game? It's time to grind. Some of you might be wondering, how am I back at 41 million coins when I just lost 30 million last time? Well, this happened. No! <laughs> I don't know what it is about wither chest plates. I dropped like five of those things. Anyways, let me just call Maddox and start a tier 5 revenant. Wonder if I can just kill these like this. Well, if I could aim, that would have been a lot faster. Alright. I'm already out of mana. Okay. This right here has to be- oh my god, really? I was just saying, that has to be the most scuffed boss I've ever done. Because I did not have a god pot, let me just get that real quick. And I didn't have my baby Yeti, so the boss was just tossing me around because I took knockback. I honestly did not expect to be doing revenants so soon, because last time I was so bored with these things, I hated them. Which was like a month and a half ago, when I was grinding to unlock the Axe of the Shredded. And wow, this boss is easy when you have an actual good weapon. I just one phased it. Okay. All right. There we go. That's the first boss. And my orange Jesus meter is almost full. Unless you don't remember, the last time I filled that meter out, I uh, I got up ahead of horror, and I'm like 99.99% sure that I'll get that again. Oh, I didn't even start the quest. And so far, the Juju bow actually seems to be doing better than a Flower of Truth because I don't have to use mana. So um, yeah, and I can kill these like this. It's pretty easy. Goodbye. I can spawn this thing with full mana so I can easily use my Plasma Flux and the Axe of the Shredded. And also now that I have a better weapon, I don't have to worry about spawning this in a flat location. I can spawn it wherever I want. It just sucks how much mana this thing uses. And there we go. And you know what? Even if this grind takes an eternity, I'm still gonna get a lot of combat XP. I'm actually combat 40 now. Last time I was 39. Maybe I should try clicking a little bit faster because now I have a decent amount of attack speed compared to last time I did this. I literally had zero attack speed. Right now I have 100% on my RNGesus meter, so my next drop is a guaranteed RNGesus drop. Come on, Hypixel, please don't let me down. It's a beheaded horror. Again. Of course it is. What else would it be? It's been a little while since that clip and in total I did around 2 million coins worth of these bosses. Since each one only takes me 95k instead of 100k, that's like 21 bosses. The reason I'm stopping now is because I realized the next mayor is probably going to be Aatrox. Unfortunately, it's not triple perk Aatrox. But fortunately, he has the exact perk that I need. With Pathfinder, I'm gonna get rare drops 20% more often. There's still slightly over a day until he's elected, but currently we have double perk Paul. And with Paul being mayor and me needing coins, I figured that I might as well do some dungeons. Oh, and by the way, I figured out how to get over the gate. I don't need 500 speed, all I need is a Jericho. I just jump in the lava, then get over here, and launch myself up here. 
doesn't even take that much mana and if you have a problem with mana you can also use the bonds of staff I'm pretty sure so I no longer have to rely on the leap pearls to get to where I need to be maybe I get lucky and I get another chest plate of course not you know what for once in my life I'm gonna do two top instead of two bot can I please make this stupid jump please okay oh, really okay maybe this time I make actual profit no to be honest this run was one of the most scuffed runs and I just got one for a whole book <laughs> I was literally talking about how bad this run was. We had a terrible clear. The run took 10 minutes, but I got a one for all book. All right, poll is gone. It's time to go back to grinding revenants. Kind of running low on bits anyway, so I can't get that many rerolls. But anyways, I already sold everything that I'm going to sell. And I have 1 million coins worth of enchants. An extra million coins from a hot potato book. I didn't sell the one for all book because I was planning to buy this anyways. Instead of having a million enchants on the katana, I can just do this. And now it's basically maxed out. The only thing it needs is fuming hot potato books and like perfect gems. And of course I can't afford those. Before I go back to stabbing zombies, I just want to see the damage difference between one for all and the enchants I had previously. 200k! What? That's like 50k more at least. I'm down to 35 million coins. I'm already over 50% to the next combat level, and my RN Jesus meter is nearly at 40%. I didn't grind that much today, but it was a long day with next to no sleep, and tomorrow I have a long grind ahead of me, so I'm gonna stop for now. I want to try something out. I've been told that spawning the boss and just sitting in this corner will break it into not spawning TNT, so I want to try this out. And oh my god, it's real. This actually works. Okay, that corner doesn't work. But this one does. No, wait. Yikes. That is a yikes and a half. Okay, it's a little bit scuffed, but... If you're at the right corner, right here, it doesn't spawn the TNT. Sorry, I don't feel like you're forced to do it. Wait, what's this? Shot at the shredded? Yo! That's, that's the uh, access to shredded thing. Oh, you need four. That was an RNG's drop. My major was just reset. It was at like 70%. Shard of the shredded. I can't spell shredded. There are 14 million coins. Okay, that's not bad. I'll take that. 14 million coins. We pogging, gamers. We pogging. 15 mil? You know, I could probably sell this for 15 mil. Yeah, that makes sense. Where do we go with that? Oh! Bruh. Okay, good. Oh, a snake root. Bruh! That just reset my RNG Jesus meter! <laughs> Since Scorpius was going to be the next mayor, my chat told me to sell my Plasma Flux because they were about to drop in price. And so I did. Uh, Plasma Flux. Like 240 million coins. How much is an Overflux? 84 mil. So I keep like at least 160 million coins in profit. Not profit, but extra coins. If I sell this and then buy this, then they're basically the same. Okay, you know what? I'll do it. Screw it. I need the coins. If I want to grind for a warden helmet, I need the coins. 238 million. I doubt it would sell though, because uh, Scorpius is mayor soon. I really hope it sells, because I just wasted like 2.8 million just auctioning that. You have Auto Slayer? I don't, because I'm not level 6 on a mess. Oh my god, someone actually bought it? I'm rich? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Thanks to the Plasma Flux actually selling, I now hopefully have more than enough money to grind for the Warden Heart. So, I'm gonna continue grinding. Alright. Last boss until Aatrox is gone. There is no way I'm gonna be able to spot another one. So please, let it be the one. Give me the heart. I even have a griffin pet on for the extra magic find. Please, please Hypixel, I beg of you. Make it happen. Absolutely nothing. Not even full flesh. It's over.
Aatrox is no more. He's literally gone. I've grinded nearly every single day that he was mayor, and I still didn't get the Warden Heart. In this backpack, I have everything I got from the grind so far. I have over two and a half stacks of full flesh, a bunch of these, 52 Revenant Viseras, seven Smite 6 books, three Beheaded Horrors. I'm not gonna talk about these. I got four Scythe Blades, and I also got one more drop, which I sold. It was the Shard of the Shredded. Anyways, I also got a Reaper Gem, because yes, I reached Revenant Slayer 9 from this grind. I went from slightly over 500k Revenant XP to over 1.1 million. And when I started, I was combat 40. Now, I'm over 70% to combat 43. Actually, I'm gonna get combat 43 real quick. And I just did. This marks the third combat level that I got from this grind. Oh, and I also got this from a full Orange Jesus meter, by the way. Oh, and by the way, because I streamed most of the grind, chat gave me a lot of tips. They helped me optimize my accessories, so now I have a permanent 82 attack speed, and I finally applied gemstones to my armor and weapon. I got like 50 strength for 700k, which is not a bad deal. Unfortunately, the gemstones won't really help, because I'll go back to using Final Destination armor and the katana for the Slayer. And since I gave up on the Warden helmet for now, I'm gonna move on to everything else. Starting with the reforges. I'm gonna need a Dragon Claw to get the Fabled Reforge on my sword, and I need four of these to get Ancient on my Final Destination armor. Alright, that was kind of expensive, but it's a huge upgrade. I also need to get the healing item I mentioned at the very start, and I definitely need it now since I don't have my Plasma Flux anymore. I am of course talking about the Wand of Atonement. I'm also gonna need Ultimate Wise 5 on this thing. I crafted this one because I thought it would be cheaper to do that and then buy the Ultimate Wise, but after checking the Enchant's book, it's actually cheaper if I just buy it from the Auction House. The last thing I need is the Summoning Ring. Now that I have the ring, it's time to visit Master Mode. Because the whole point of this thing is to get tanks. And the best tanks are these ones, so I can just get their souls. Oh, and I also got super lucky and dropped a Master Star somehow, so that was a free 9 million coins profit. Anyways, it's finally time to try out the Tier 3 Enderman once again. It's also time for me to check out my damage, and I do 198k, 200k, that's double what I did uh, previously. So the enchants and the reforges definitely made a huge difference. Oh my god, I missed this ferocity. This thing cannot move at all. That was what, four blocks? I don't think these tanks despawn, so I'm just gonna spawn them right now. Since they use a lot of mana. 502. That's like half my mana. I have two of them. So why do I only spawn one? A single zombie takes 502 mana, so I'm gonna switch to wise, just to see if that helps. Okay, yeah, it does help. And I did spawn both of them, so now I'm gonna switch back to final destination, and I have my zombies out. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm just gonna let the zombies deal with this phase. Okay, I can damage it now. Uh-huh. 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 Okay, that didn't go according to plan, but I also made multiple mistakes. First of all, I didn't spawn my baby yeti because I didn't have my pet rule on. And I also completely forgot that this thing existed. Oh, and also I'm gonna switch to Necron for this fight, because apparently the defense ability, which is the thing I care about most... Okay, I'm gonna die to the mini boss. Anyways, as I was saying, apparently the defense ability on Final Destination Armor does not work. That's literally the main reason why I got this set and it's broken. Okay, attempt number two. Where, wait, 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 where, where, where are my zombies? What? I forgot to get my zombies, I'm so dumb. I'm just gonna switch to Wise real quick, don't hit me please. I'm probably gonna get one shot because I'm wearing Wise Armor. Alright, there we go, got my zombies. Hit it, hit it! Do your job! I am gonna die. Okay, haha. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just spawned them. Bruh. Oh, I deserve that. I, I completely deserve that. All right, this time I already have my zombies out. And you know what they say. Third time is a charm. I forgot to switch to Necron. Why don't I learn? Okay, Necron armor? Thank you. Not superior. That would be a terrible idea. Now let me just use the wand and go in. Oh, oh my god, okay, that's it, I, I give up. 
Which is what I would have said if I didn't realize I'm missing something very, very critical. The Ender Artifact. This stupidly expensive talisman is gonna reduce the damage by 20% at the cost of 39.5 million coins. I believe the only way to obtain this is through the dark auction, so it's basically the same as the auction house. So I'm just gonna buy it. 39.5 million? Sure, why not? It has the bloody reforge for some reason, but I don't care about that right now. I just want to do this thing. Uh, wait, this man is on Iron Man. Oh my god, this... This is a Chad, a legendary level 100 Ender Dragon, not tier boosted by the way, a Warden Helmet, a maxed out Atom Split Katana. How many hours did it take? Okay, fourth time is the charm. It's not the third. All right, time to do this. Oh yeah, my zombie sword. Wait, what am I fighting it for? I have to wait for my tanks to uh, do that. All right, now I can fight it. Uh, why am I using my zombie sword? I am very smart. Wait, is my... Wait, is this Chad just gonna carry me? Also, I'm not taking nearly as much damage as I did last time. That accessory makes a giant difference. And it's done. It's done! I, I just, I defeated a tier three. Which is what I would like to say, but I got completely carried. Now, it's the moment of truth. Can I, 1v1, a tier three Enderman boss or not? Okay, orb has been placed. I just used the wand. Poor zombies getting comboed. Okay, now I can kill it. Or at least fight it. Alright. There is some progression. I, at least I'm doing some damage this time. I'm not instantly dying. Wait, is this actually possible? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no it's not. No, it's not. I spoke too soon. Okay, time to just stand away and let my zombies do the job. This is actually possible, it seems like. Oh, God! Where's the beacon? Okay, this didn't throw it yet. The bot threw a skull? Do I have to look at those, or what? There are way too many things to keep track of! No! This might actually be doable. How did I die? They're glitched. Fog, cool. Thank you, Hotpixel. Oh no! No, 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 I got it super low. There's a billion things to keep track of, but it's super low. Go away. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my god, I was so close. I am not ending this video until I defeat this boss. I have one idea in mind and I really hope it works because I'm gonna be putting the beheaded horrors I got into good use. I'm gonna be crafting myself a Reaper mask. Technically, this is armor, so I can't just buy it from the auction house. I'm gonna need half a stack of enchanted strength, two stacks of enchanted viscera, which is gonna cost me nearly 4.9 million coins, and finally, a revived heart. Wait, this can be used as armor as well, so I can't buy it. Oh my god. I already have a decent amount of rotten flesh because of all the zombie slayers I did. But I don't think it will be anywhere near enough. I can make a single zombie heart. I'm gonna need eight more of these. And that's the last one. I'm pretty sure I have more than enough enchanted diamonds to make a crystallized heart. There it is. Now, if I just do this, a revived heart. Place that there, that there, that there, and then like that, I think. A Reaper Mask has been crafted. Alright, my damage dropped a little bit since I don't have my helmet anymore, but I'm gonna heal by a lot. Wait, this thing allows me to store and summon an additional two souls in my Necromancer weapon. Does that count for this as well? It does! I just got a soul, can I pick that up? Oh my god! That is so useful. I'm gonna have four zombies instead of two. It took a little while, but there we go. Four tank zombie souls. You might be thinking I'm a complete idiot since I can't spawn them because I don't have enough mana. Well, you're wrong. It's true that I have nowhere near the mana I need, but there is a little thing most people don't know even exists. Mana potions. It allows you to exceed the mana cap and go above that. And since I only need to spawn them once at the very start, I don't have to worry about mana after that. Um, 
Are they broken? Oh, they changed how they work. I had outdated potions. Well, I guess I'm an idiot after all. These skulls, they're gonna be the death of me. I need like four eyes just to keep track of those things. Oh, no, 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 please don't help. Oh, this time I'm actually nicked. So hopefully no one interferes. All right, it's down to the third hit phase. I don't think it spawns the beacon while it's in the hit phase. It just holds it, it's kind of weird. Oh, there's a skull, out of here. Okay, I'm super low, not good. Out of here. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, there's another skull. Another one, I really hate those. I have died to those skulls like 15 times and I'm not even kidding. They are genuinely the hardest part about this boss, in my opinion. Because they are much smaller than a beacon. I think he even throws them much more frequently. And they also instantly kill you, just like a beacon would. I almost missed that. Oh my god. Can I do it? Can I finally do it? 4 million HP. The lowest it's ever been. That's the raw enderman. I'm smart. I knew that. Yes. Out of here. 1.2 million. I did it. I soloed a tier 3 enderman. After nearly giving up multiple times and losing more times than I could count, it's been done. I defeated the tier 3 enderman boss. This has been by far the longest combat grind I set out on. I got three combat levels. I nearly tripled my zombie slayer XP, and I even had to sell my plasma flux to pay for everything. But at the end, it was worth it, because I managed to achieve my goal. However, if I want to go back to using the auction house normally, I have to defeat the tier 4. But that's something for future interests to worry about. Anyways, thank you so much for watching gamers, and thank you to my channel members. That's more than double the members of last time. Very cool. And I'll see you gamers later. Peace.